Hi there and welcome to today's video. Um, in this one we're looking at the errors in Excel. Now this you need to know for uh, practical, uh, for your practical paper as well as your theory tests. Um, this typically comes up in tests and exams. So I have a few of the Excel errors over here. You'll notice that I've got some numbers and some text because I've actually used that to generate these um, different errors. Okay, so let's get into it. Number one, the first one is value. Now, if we look at value, we'll see it is cell B4 times B8. So cell B4 times whatever is in cell B8. Ah, so we try to multiply a number by text. So when you are multiplying or doing anything, you know, having a number and you're trying to, let's say, add it or multiply it to text, um, it's going to tell you that the value is different. So if I change this now to the number 6 and I hit enter, boom, it then changes. So remember, if I'm trying to take a number and multiply it by any sort of text, it's going to give me a value um, error. The next one is div slash zero. So let's click on it and it says b4 divided by b5. So b4 is three divided by, oh, we are dividing by zero. Okay, so if we change that to a one, it gives us a number. So this error occurs when we are trying to divide by zero. And again, the way we change it is just to change that zero to whatever other number and it will then display. Our next error is the hashtag name question mark. So uh, this occurs and you can see B4, the average of B4, that's three to B7. So the range is fine, but oh wait, there's something wrong with the formula. Um, in a previous video, I dealt with the four uh, formulas, the min, max, sum and average. And we, rem we should remember, should remember <laughs> that we don't use a shortened version of average we actually type out the entire name and now that we hit enter there is our average so when you get that error it is because there's actually a problem with the name of the formula and that's why it says name okay so let's just correct that then the next one has hashtag reference Okay, so in other words, there's, there's, there's a reference that's wrong here. And this is why we had B4 uh, multiplied by, and let's, let's, just put a, let's just put a number in here. Um, and let's correct this. Let's say it's B4 times, what is it, cell A5. Okay, and we hit enter. So that gives us a number. But have a look at this. If anything happens to that particular cell, and I say I'm going to delete that cell, shift the cells up immediately there's a reference problem and this happens or this error occurs because that particular cell reference does not exist in other words it's been deleted it's been removed so it's not there and that's why it's giving us that problem so if i go and pop a number in a5 now you see it's referring to the other one so i'd have to go and actually say a5 and that then sorts that out. Then the last one, um, with this particular one, Excel has limits on the numbers that it can display. So in this case, when I click on this formula, it says um, five to the power of 500, okay? So if I drop that down and I say just to five, it will give me a number, right? However, if I go bigger than that, you can see it's still displaying here and it's saying error plus 34 more digits that it should display. But the minute I go with a number that's too big for Excel to actually have in it, it will give me a num error. So uh, I hope that shows you the difference between these errors and how you can act. 